Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, and let's chat about House of Flame and Shadow. I could not keep a straight face. It reminds me of the title House of Dragons or House of the Dragons. You know, it's just something you kind of like make up in your mind. So, but anyways, that's what it reminds me of. So we're here. We're going to talk about book three of the Crescent City series by Sarah Moss. Like always, if you haven't checked out my previous videos of the first two books, I'll go ahead and link it below. There may or might not be spoilers when I talk about this book. It's just really hard not to talk about certain things, especially if you're this deep in the series. So you have been warned, may or, not, may or may not have spoilers. Ugh, may or may not have spoilers when I talk about them. Okay, so a couple of good things I like about this book. Well, I guess first what is Bryce and the gang doing, right? So first thing, um, I love all of the Crescent City covers. I think it's just so beautiful, the artwork, and then like each book has its like moment in color, you know, so this one is repping the like darker color. So love it, just very detailed drawings. And then also, of course, like the inside, right, is so beautiful as well. Um, another thing, um, is My Girl Viper. If you, again, haven't checked out my other videos, one of my favorite characters is the Viper Queen. And, you know, she has a little bit more, um, parts in the book here, which I appreciate. So, love that she has a little bit more, um, things going on in this book. Bryce, you know, even though she annoys me sometimes, I do like her selflessness. She's um, selfless. She thinks about others. She's always um, being the first to like sacrifice herself or just putting herself in front of others, which I really like. And I think that's like a good quality in a leader, right? Where you stand up for um, people that may or may not be able to stand up for themselves. And I appreciate that about Bryce. Um, what else? Sorry, I'm looking down here because I have my notes, so I definitely don't want to like miss anything here. Um, I think a lot of the action scenes are good in this book as well, so a plus on that. Okay, so and then here are the things that are like not my favorite things in the book. First, it's freaking thick, 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 thick. Uh, how many pages is this? I mean, I'm sure there are thicker books, but... 838 pages here of this book so um with that being said i think there are certain things i felt that was dragged out that may have not needed to be dragged out um i was going to compliment about how bryce and hunt were like not all over each other but of course that's like not they can't they just can't keep um, their hands off each other. So unfortunately, I was like, going to say like, yes, you know, it's kind of nice um, not having them just be all over each other, but I was wrong. Whenever they get the chance, they do. So aside from that, um, I also didn't like a lot of the side arcs that was happening in the book. Of course, I get it, right? These side arcs are to help you learn more about the different characters in the book, you know, and, and let them have their moment to shine. But for me personally, I felt some of the arc again was like kind of dragged out or like, was it really necessary? Because I also felt like, man, everybody and their mother is like involved in this drama. And it's kind of like, was that even necessary, right? I feel like they didn't need to be dragged in if they didn't have to be. Um, Therion, there's like a Therion like side arc that I was like confused about. Not confused, but just kind of like, again, why did that need to happen? You know, it was just really weird, his feelings through that. So again, didn't really care for that. Um, what are the things? Yeah, just also the style that she did here. Um, in the chapters, there was like multiple paragraphs of different things going on. And I don't know, I kind of have like mixed feelings about that as well. Because I guess I'm the type to like, if there's a chapter, I like it to be dedicated to a certain event 
or thing that's happening. And here, it's like multiple events happening in one chapter. Again, it wasn't hard to follow, but I just felt like, was there a purpose for that? Was it there a purpose to like make you, as the reader, feel like things are getting rushed? Or was it just trying to like fit everything in one chapter, you know? So to me, that wasn't like my favorite thing about the book there. Um, gonna give it, um, I'm gonna say a two. I'm gonna give this book a two, even though I love that, again, my favorite character was like shining in this book. I'm gonna give it a two. Um, it was just too long in my opinion. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Like always, did you like this book? Didn't you like this book? Who's your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.